What's up YouTube, Capital G here, checking out our brand new Witchcrafter monster that just got revealed coming out of Ignition Assault. Very interesting that Konami is putting a lot of support for the deck building archetypes in this booster set. We know that Generates just got a new card revealed, and also I believe that Dragon Maids and Evil Eye are both getting supports in here as well, so that's kind of cool. This is Witchcrafter Genie, and you know what, before I even jump into the card, can we just point out the fact that this is almost certainly like servant of endymion i mean maybe this is just her in a different attire but people on reddit have already pointed out like yo cap that's servant of endymion i mean the cards look very similar and even when you kind of look at the uh the safe that's in the bottom of the card the crest on the safe or the insignia the logo there it seems to be the spell counter logo so i kind of feel like it's the same monster maybe this means that witchcrafter and and Demion are somehow related. You know, they're all related around spell, so it makes sense. Anyways, Witchcrafter, Genie, Spellcaster, level 1, 300 attack, 500 defense. You got a hard once per turn on both effects. The first effect is built into all the little Witchcrafter monsters. It's just, you know, during your main phase, quick effect. You tribute the card. You also tribute a spell out of your hand, or you discard a spell, and you get to summon a Witchcrafter monster from your deck, except another copy of itself. That's built into, again, all the little Witchcrafter monsters. The the second effect is the unique effect, and that is... You can banish this card uh, from your graveyard and one witchcrafter spell. This effect becomes the same as the effect of this spell when it is activated. So this is a very interesting effect and it feels like it was kind of designed to speed up witchcrafters. We all know that witchcrafters kind of have like a, a pretty decent grind game. It's just kind of slow to get started. Basically cards like witchcraft the creation, you can activate them and you can eventually get them back from the graveyard. But yeah, gotta wait a turn you can't do both of them in one turn this is now giving the deck an, uh, the ability to basically use the same spell card twice in one turn and that's kind of nice especially considering if you activate the effect you're putting a spell in the grave you're going to also have her in the grave so the effect can instantly be online and that's kind of cool discard your creation and then you also can just activate the creation and search for it right then and there. It's kind of nice. It's like having your cake and being able to eat it too. Honestly, I kind of feel like this is going to kick pottery out of the deck because pottery's second effect, the utility effect, only works when you have no cards in your hand. And that's like really situational. A lot of witchcrafter players don't really like pottery all that much. This card is technically a one for one target, although I'm not sure if I'd really want to discard all that many cards in one turn, but one for one, I don't know. Maybe you can discard it for a Witchcrafter monster if you don't want to use it. And honestly, just in Yu-Gi-Oh, being a level 1 is just so much better than being level 2 right now. You get 1 for 1 access. You also get access to, like, Link Karibo and stuff like that. So I kind of feel like this card definitely speeds up Witchcrafter a little bit. And it, God knows if there's one thing Witchcrafter need, it is obviously, like, more speed. I feel like Witchcrafter at this point probably don't need more monsters. I kind of feel like they need more spell cards. You know what they need? They need a card card like hot red dragon archery and abyss a card that just negates a face-up card your opponent controls like a quick play oh my goodness that would be so good but honestly i think that this card's pretty solid i think it'll kick pottery out of the deck and that's good enough to run it in my opinion anyways whatever you guys think of witchcraft or genie or if you think that it's actually servant of endymion maybe she's moonlighting as a witchcraft or monster to earn a little more money whatever thank you guys for watching as always subscribe if you have not already and turn on that notification bell for daily videos